Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another update on this bulk investment portfolio. As you might know if you follow this series and this YouTube channel for a while, each month I publicly document my public investment portfolio performance and I show you in which stocks I am investing. For full disclaimer, this is not my only portfolio, I have other portfolios that I don't disclose publicly and just because you see me investing into one specific stock or company or whatever asset, that doesn't necessarily mean it's the right investment for you. You do you, I do me. Uh, do your own due diligence. Don't trust a random guy here on YouTube. This is just for my entertaining purposes so that in a few years I can look back and rethink, oh, this was a good decision, this was a bad decision, and what was going through my mind. Of course, this has a long-term horizon, so probably like a second retirement for me. So uh, we will see if I'll be able to keep doing these videos monthly. Right now I'm having a, a lot of work and uh, life has been a bit chaotic. So I'll try to keep this as short as possible just for the, the consistency's sake. If you want to see any other type of content in this YouTube channel, please don't forget to leave your comments down below. And having getting this out of the way, let's open the Trading212 app. And as you can see, the portfolio right now has a total value of 1,665 euros. The performance has dwindled down a bit for to the 10%. Last month, I believe it was closer to 17%, but this is the beauty of it. Some months you'll be investing when the performance is at high in the high levels and sometimes you'll be performing, you'll be investing at the lowest moments, which is better for, for the long term. So let's just have a quick overview of the stocks that we have so far. So we have Alibaba, trading pretty flat so two percent in my position alphabet with 28 percent amazon with 35 percent farfetch the only portuguese company that i have here is down 50 percent so this is absolutely uh, crazy um, intel is up five percent s p 500 up five percent the etf of information technology sector 15 percent jd.com down 11 percent Meta platforms 112% and this is the rest of the stocks. So as you can see in allocation most of it is going to ETF so 26% for the S&P 500 and 21% for the information technology sector. So we have here roughly 47, 48 and we also have another one uh, in Vanguard FTS All World. So these are more conserv conservative uh, investments and then I have a uh, big percentage on Google, 10%, oh, 11%, Meta Platform, 7.5%, and so on and so forth. So let's see so far the pies. We started this portfolio in 2022 January. Sorry if I'm speaking a bit fast. Uh, I'm using my, my lunch break to record this video. And uh, you could see that if I had invested all my money back in January of 2022, the portfolio right now would be down 1.88%. But if you go to, let's say, to September of 2022, well, like one year ago, if I had invested all my money in this specific portfolio, in this pie, because I changed my pies uh, quite a bit, you can see here that I only have these, I only invested these in these companies in, and ETFs in this month, I'll be performing at 26% and you have other months here at 31%. I think the only month that I didn't invest was in March of 2023 and uh, as you can see, because I thought the stock market was super overvalued, but here we are, I invest in the next month, which was still higher and it's still performing positively. In the past few months, the pies have been trading uh, down, uh, so we are a bit in a downward spiral, but this is it. And uh, as always, I don't really care what's happening in the short term, so that in a few years, 10, 20, 30 years, let's see how these stocks are performing. Maybe some of these companies won't exist. Maybe others will be performing well. Only time will tell. And uh, maybe you are here to stick around and see if that's going to, to play out or not. So this is the pie that we'll be investing today. 30% for the S&P 500 Information Technology Sector ETF. 20% for the S&P 500 ETF, then 15% for Disney, which was down in my position, and I really like Disney, and they are bombarding amazing Star Wars content, but I'm a huge fan, so maybe I'm a bit biased on this pick. Alibaba 10%, GD.com 10%, and Tencent 10%, so Chinese exposure right there, and uh, Vanguard FTS All World 5%, just for the balance purposes. So we can go here, we have our holdings, invest, 
and Bergana invest 120 which means mostly what I've been investing in the past a few months we started this portfolio investing only 40 cc now 120 hopefully as the time goes by and i get salary bumps across my life or i manage to save a bit more i'll be able to contribute more or less we don't know well, maybe i'll need to buy a car maybe i'll need to buy a house who knows maybe i want to spend a bit more on traveling but this is a bit flexible and uh, i think you should always adjust accordingly so 18 euros is going to Walt Disney, 12 euros going to Alibaba, 124jd.com, and you can see here the rest, 24, 6, 36, 12, and confirm buy. Okay, some of the markets are not open, and we are investing right now. And uh, yeah, this is it. Don't forget to follow my Instagram page. Normally, I post there a bit uh, quicker because it's just an image of the portfolio and uh, what I did in this month than the video itself. I don't really do that much editing, but it takes a bit longer, so maybe I'm doing this in my my lunch break and the video I will only be able to upload it uh, at night or something like this nonetheless I don't think you should wait for these videos or for this post to to invest or don't invest on things that I'm doing and uh, the rest of the, the the position will execute throughout the the rest of the day and uh, right now we have yeah no sorry I lost a bit in my my thoughts yeah, don't uh, just mimic what I'm doing, do your own due diligence, make sure, question yourself if what you're investing makes sense. Can you really afford to lose uh, this money? Will this compromise my rent, the money rent that I'm paying each month? So yeah, uh, small amounts really amount to something. If I were to invest right now 1,700 euros, I couldn't right now, my financials would absolutely uh, cry. But uh, since I've been investing each month uh, low amounts now we can argue that's not such a low amount 120 is quite uh, considerable um, it really starts adding up like you know the snowball effect and hopefully this already compounded 10% if I needed to retire right now I would have 10% of my money which is not bad if it was a few, a few weeks ago I would have like 19% or something like crazy you can see here in one of August I would have 20% but I'm not going to retire soon but who knows you might need some emergency and this is how the portfolio is right now so thank you all for watching i hope you like these kind of videos i still need to upload a vlog for my my vacations others i think i will keep those videos private but who knows i'm always here so thank you all for watching and i'll see you in next time bye